Hello, knife people. Last night, I came back home from two-day guiding tour. I supported a hunter from Tokyo, my friend. He killed six deer, two stags. The first stag was the biggest. And uh, I didn't have intention to try out this new steel LMAX. And I used these three knives for the deer. For the biggest stag, first stag. It was a monster. For the straps, I used this knife, Fox River 3V. This autumn season, deer still has thick layer of the fat tissue, like this, two inches, something like that, on its hip. Then, this weak control handle was kind of slick for skinny in a greasy situation. I felt like that. And uh, its hip was very large and this 3V Canadian special was very useful something like this in this loose holding cut in many directions for hip extraction it's a very useful knife for hips and shanks like this no edge problems at all no edge problems at all The problem is this knife, CPM 4V. Uh, Gameskeeper for deep muscles and necks touching neck bones very hard. This was not very useful mainly because of this sharp angle of this Ricasso area. Choi, this corner hurts my finger. Here. And this length is short for a large stag. At a high angle, I removed neck muscles and uh, it took some edge problems around here on its belly. I hope you can see that. Under the microscope, oh, you can see here. This is it. Under the microscope, it is a Michael Rohr. As you can see. Relatively large Michael Rohr. I hope you can see from this direction. Maybe you can't. I'm sorry. Anyway, I will show you later. Under the microscope, you can see it there. Yes, there. Anyway, I will show it, show this under the microscope later. And uh, from the second deer, five deer straight, the last deer was a big stag as well. But uh, 
the initial stack was 1.5 times larger than the last one. One of the largest. Anyway, this did five deer straight completely. The last deer I left some muscles because of late night, darkness, heaviness, needed to walk long. Anyway, this knife did five deer. Quite sharp. Still quite sharp. But uh, as you can see, it has some stepping during cutting. As you imagine, it has many microchips. It's a cheapy steel. I mean, after five deer, it doesn't have a roll, but chips, microchips. LMAX is like this, you know. It is a very, very hard steel. It takes microchips, definitely, I'll show you later. But it holds its sharpness very, very long, incredibly. Very hard steel. I think I need to restore these chips using water stones. What do you think? CPM 4V takes rolls. LMAX takes chips, but awesomely sharp. Still not. Anyway, I'll show you the microscopic view last. And please uh, decide your knife uh, from my experience of this hunting. I hope so. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye bye. You will see the microscopic view last. This is uh, one mil scale. This portion on the 4V Games Keeper has a bend, bending portion from down to up this direction. Oh, here it is. Please take a look carefully this bending. This is CPM 4V region, bending region, I think in other words, rolling region. Okay, let's go to LMAX. Here. A typical chip, microchip. Slight bending. Typical chip here.
the regions of LMAX is cheap. But uh, it is after doing five year perfect and uh, no chippy portions around here, still razor sharp. It's a very hard steel. Okay. Please uh, think about this issue. Negligible, but uh, to restore this chippy region, I will need water stones. CPM 4V, no chippy, but not very impressive. Please think about that for getting your next knife. Okay. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye-bye.